Cincinnati knows it must stop the recent rash of violence, and tonight we're asking what's causing this violent streak. Several theories are emerging tonight from people who are in touch with the community, and 9 News reporter Tom McKee is here now with what they have to say. Tom? Well, Carol, there have been six recent cases where police officers have fired their weapons when confronted with a suspect brandishing a gun, and dozens, perhaps hundreds of instances, where citizens have shot at other citizens. So what's causing this uptick in gunplay, which people I've talked with say this is truly the exception and not the rule? Wednesday morning, Delmar Bird is jailed on a quarter million dollar bond. Recently released from prison, he allegedly pointed a gun at an officer in Coryville Tuesday night, and the officer fired a shot in his direction. Nobody was hit or hurt. It's the sixth such confrontation in a few weeks. I correlated to the high rate of unemployment. That's the feeling of Reggie Brazil, program director for SERVE, the Cincinnati Initiative to Reduce Violence. He says it's a divide between the haves and the have nots. There's a community that the rest of us who are employed have forgotten about. And this community is, uh, is, is boiling over and it, they're taking it out on themselves and they're taking it out on, on, uh, on police and, and anybody else who, who, who they come in interaction with. Pastor Peterson Mingo of Christ Temple Baptist Church in Walnut Hills has another theory. This rash of violence is something that's built up in people. We're, we're training people to, sh to shoot. That's right. He says video games desensitize young people. We teach them thou should not kill, but then we give them these video games like Grand Theft Auto where they kill 50, 60 people in a half an hour. Pastor Mingo added people on the streets have thought for years police would only tase them and not fire their weapons because of possible public outcry. As a result, uh, there's no more fear of the police. And since there was no fear, people began to act out. The Coryville incident, coming on the heels of those on Fountain Square and in Over the Rhine, are proof that that theory is not viable anymore. The message to the young people who decide to arm themselves and confront police officers with guns, they must know they could be met with tragic consequences. You can't point guns at anyone, and you absolutely cannot point guns at police officers. That has to stop. Now, both Brazil and Pastor Mingo agree with Chief Craig that solving the problem is a community-wide concern, not just something the police can or will be able to handle on their own, Carol.